Shitakaba Birch Beer, homemade. It's got a nice head. Nice color. Mm, pretty good smell. So just finished bottling um, all the, um, the five gallons of birch beer that I made. Um, of always been fascinated with uh, birch trees, birch sap, birch syrup, and birch beer. So um, made a bunch of, uh, we tapped the trees, we made a bunch of birch syrup this year. Still got a whole bunch. Uh, we're using it, it's good stuff, delicious stuff. Comes here from the, the birch trees, nature natural sugar from these birch trees on this property and uh, I used one batch to produce um, this um, five gallons of, of beer here so this was the sugar source that the yeast um, used to ferment to make the alcohol so the it was 15% bricks when I bought when I first um, started the fermentation I checked it with the hygrometer, it's now zero. So it's dry, um, I primed it. So that's gonna make, um, should make, hopefully the priming, the, I added a little extra sugar before I bottled it. That's called priming. And that hopefully will make a nice um, carbonation in the beer. So um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's gonna work. Um, yeah, so the percentage of alcohol is a bottle of it, 15, 16%, it went down to zero. So that should be around uh, six or 7% alcohol. So we'll see how it is. Um, also the taste is, the smell anyways, I haven't tasted it. Uh, the smell so, so far is very fruity actually. It's quite interesting, so. Had a really good yeast strain. It was just blasting fermentation, really fermenting vigorously um, for almost a month I had it going. So um, should be pretty good. Okay, so here I'm making um, birch sap concentrate. So it's it's almost to a syrup. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty dark. but it's still quite concentrated, uh, pretty much watery. So I think it's about 10% sugar. Um, I'm gonna use this to make a birch beer. So I'm gonna put some Alaskan spruce tips in there just for a little bit of flavor. I'm gonna put a little chaga in here. Piece of chaga. And the next step is I'm going to let this cool and then I'm going to um, pitch the yeast. So, um, yep, that's the process. So, yeah, making birch beer here. So here is a batch of birch beer or birch wine that I got going and it's, uh, it's fermenting right now. Um... I'll probably let it go another five days or so. Um, this is the fifth or sixth day of fermenting and it's still really rocking and rolling. It seems like the birch or uh, the uh, yeast is really enjoying eating this um, this birch syrup, this, this sugars that are involved in, from the tree. Um, the yeast is really loving it and it's just been fermenting and bubbling quite vigorously for um for ever since the beginning and it's still continuing and what's also interesting is it's cool and cold right now still in alaska because it's in may so um we're talking about the temperature of 50 degrees fahrenheit inside our house 10 degrees c and this this thing is is rocking and rolling at that temperature which is really cool 
Uh, another interesting thing is the smell of the out of the out gas. Very estery, bananas, fruits, apples, um, red apples, pears. It's estery. So we're getting a real estery fermentation going on here. Um, it's going to be, it doesn't smell or like anything um, that we put in here at this point. It smells totally different. This thing, the yeast has done some totally different organic chemistry and produced a completely different product. It's going to be very interesting how this is going to taste. I got mostly birch sap and syrup. Uh, I started with about a 10% bricks. So that should give us added a little sugar. So probably 12% bricks all in all. That should give us about 6 to 8% alcohol. Um, I got chaga in here, spruce tips, all, all Alaskan products in here. Now we're testing the percent sugar, so it went in at about 15%. Now we're down to 0%, so the fermentation was, was a complete success. We, uh, we were able to ferment all of this um, beer here. Just back in. This is the priming sugar solution. Um, that good okay Now we gotta let this wait and kind of do a secondary fermentation in the bottle. And the longer you wait, the better. So these big jugs, of course, will, this is a half gallon jug, so that's a lot of beer to drink. So probably uh, drink that on a special occasion, keep these in the dark, in a cool place, saving there for a long time. And then these little bottles, um, you know, I'll, I might crack one open um, in about two or three weeks. Just wait a little while, see how it goes. Let the secondary fermentation take its effect and then um, see how it tastes. And, if, and when we do that, um, it's, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it's going to be good. Chitacaba birch beer, homemade. It's got a nice head. Nice color. Mm, pretty good smell. Mm. Wow. It's rich, fruity. Got that birch taste, definitely. Oh, wow, cool. Came out pretty good, actually. Mm. Mm. No me, I see. It's good to drink. Tasty. Mm. Want some? Okay. Mm. It's very light. 
Yeah, but in the back taste, aftertaste, you can yeah. taste that birch. Birch and birch beer taste. And there's actually. chaga in here, too. Look at this natural tansan, man. That really worked out good. Mm -mm. Cool. My birch beer, one month old. Let's see how it's uh, holding up. It's got a real, it's carrying over that very um, fruity taste or smell. Mmm. And like a little blackberry in there now. I'm getting like a roasted caramel, toasted flavor in this stuff. It's even a little tannic. There's like a sweet um, aftertaste mixed in with a bitter. So it's, it's a little bit tannic. It's got a real fruity smell. Got a pretty nice um, clarity, a little bit um, cloudy, beautiful color, red. It's got a really nice carbonation. Holds really well. The beer is, is gaining after one month. A little bit more character, a little bit of aftertaste. Got a little bit more rich, some body to it. Smell is, hasn't changed much. It's very fruity, great delicious smell. Mm. It's easy to drink, I will say that. Not too bad.